Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are so glad that you have joined us today. We are looking at Psalm 11, and today we want to look at verses 4 to 6 from the Living Bible. Verse 4 begins with that beautiful word of contrast, but the temptation to flee the first three verses. But uh, verse 4 begins with this beautiful contrast word, but the Lord is in his holy temple. He still rules from heaven. He closely watches everything that happens here on earth. But God is present with us. When it says that God is in his holy temple, God has tabernacled with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. We can go to the temple with the people of God. We can uh, enter into corporate worship and we can see the presence and the power of God released on our behalf, the temple of God. And God rules from heaven. Our God is the God of heaven. Heaven rules. God is in control. So I want to encourage you today to look up. Don't look down. You're going to get discouraged. Don't look around, <laughs> you're going to get depressed. But look up, see the God of heaven, see him seated on the throne. God is in control. God sees, it says he closely watches everything, what happens here on earth. God sees, God knows, God cares, and God will act. I want those four words uh, to be deeply impregnated in your mind and heart today. God sees, God knows, God cares, and God will act. He puts the righteous and the wicked to the test. He hates those who love violence. And so it's a time of testing for both the wicked and the righteous. So for you and for me, the people of God, what is this test? What form does it take? Will I be ruled by fear or faith? That's the test. Will I be ruled by fear or by faith? Faith sees the invisible and faith hears the inaudible. So you and I need to have the eyes of faith and the ears with which we hear the voice of God and we need to respond in faith and not in fear. And it says that God hates violence, God hates evil, God hates sin, and God restrains evil by the power of the Holy Spirit acting in and through the church when we act as salt and light. And then in verse uh, 6, uh, the psalmist says, God will rain down fire and brimstone on the wicked and scorch them with his burning wind. Now, that is a reminder to us of Sodom and Gomorrah initially. Remember those two very wicked cities? God gave them opportunity to repent. And um, Abraham prayed for those two cities. But sadly, you couldn't even find five righteous men or women. And when God's time came, judgment fell. And the two wicked cities were wiped out by fire and brimstone. But fire and brimstone is also a picture of hell. We are, we are told that hell, the fire burns and, uh, and that the sulfur, the brimstone, it also continues to burn. Now, that's a very horrible picture of hell. And we don't like to focus on a picture like that. We want to focus on heaven, yes. But that's the reality, that there is a real hell as much as there is a real heaven. And God is going uh, to punish all those uh, who have rejected him, uh, the one way of salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ, and who choose to live their own selfish, independent way. And even though God has been merciful and given them opportunity to repent and to turn to him, they have willfully rejected him. And uh, they, sadly, their ultimate destiny is hell. And we, the people of God, should care for those who are 
headed towards a Christless eternity. And we need to do all what we can to love them, to pray for them, to shed tears over them, and to share the gospel and to encourage them to trust the Savior before it is too late. Our God is the God of judgment. He is the God of love. And there is the wrath of God that the Bible talks about. And we can't uh, downplay it. And uh, the psalmist certainly didn't downplay it. And we need to turn our lives over to him now. Surrender totally to him and live for him and love him today. And to share the gospel with as many people as we possibly can. May God bless you with a wonderful day today. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.